Hello all, and welcome to the final part of the Winter Park mini-series. Today we'll be talking about all of the remaining territories at Winter Park Resort. Those are the Parsimble, the Cirque, Vasquez Ridge, Eagle Wind, and Terrain Park. Again, this series is sharing all of the inside knowledge about ski resorts with all of you. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the Parson Bowl. To get to the Parson Bowl, you're first going to want to get to Lunch Rock. I discussed getting to Lunch Rock in my Mary Jane video, so check that out if you want more info on that. From Lunch Rock, head down any of these runs. Edelweiss, Blue Bell, Wildwood Glades, Columbine, or Roundhouse. At the bottom will be the Panoramic Express six-seat chairlift. This chairlift gets shut down quite often due to the wind above treeline, so have a backup plan in case the lift is closed. This sunny side lift was replaced with this new six-pack a couple of years ago to help traffic get out of the area when panoramic, or just pano as some call it, goes down. At the top of the Parson Bowl, coming off of pano, you can ski down into the bowl or ski along one of two ridge lines to access other runs. These two ridge lines are that of Village Way, here, and Perry's Peak, here. You can drop off into the bowl at pretty much any point from either of these ridges. One thing not shown on the trail map that is the trail Edelweiss goes down in the direction that would appear, that would appear as up on the map before turning left and going down where it is shown on the map. As such, it looks like all of these trails go to Lunch Rock. However, they feed into Edelweiss before the big turn, which forces you down to the Sunnyside and Panoramic chairlifts. Simply take the Sunnyside to get to Lunch Rock. Most of these runs over here are glades, meaning tree skiing, so if you're in the mood for trees, stay on the ridge all the way below treeline and then drop into one of these. From the top of the Panoramic Express Lift, there is one more option other than the three already discussed. From the top, you can hike a little ways into this territory, the Cirque. The Cirque is the most extreme skiing at Winter Park. It is comprised mostly of cliffs and chutes in the upper area, and a run out through the trees below. There is something you can take called the Cirque Sled to bypass the hike but I've never used it and COVID has made everything different this year, so I don't want to spread any misinformation. Coming out of the Cirque, you can hop onto the Eagle Wind chairlift and then ski down to Pano for another lap, or you, continue, you can continue down to the Pioneer Express here. Pretty much the entire length of this green here, Big Valley, is flat. Vasquez Ridge, the territory served by the Pioneer Express chairlift, has great intermediate skiing, but it has a serious runout at the end. If you want to avoid walking, get a lot of speed coming onto the run of Big Valley. To get to Vasquez Ridge, you're going to have to do a bit of walking. I'm starting to sense a theme here. As a general rule, in Vasquez Ridge, the blues are great, but all of the greens except Gun Barrel are hikes. Gun Barrel is not horrible. If you can do moguls, you can also take Gambler, Chuck Wagon, or my personal favorite trail name at Winter Park, Aces and Eights. The Eagle Wind chairlift, although shown on the map very close to the top of Vasquez Ridge, is not accessible from Vasquez Ridge. I don't know why so many people think they can get to Eagle Wind from Vasquez. You can't. To get to Eagle Wind, traverse across this trail here, Thunderbird Traverse from Lunch Rock, or Ski Village Way to Belfourche from the top of Pano. Fun fact, Belfourche translates from French to beautiful fork, as in a farming fork, so basically meaning nice pitchfork. The Eagle Wind chairlift also goes above treeline, and as such is affected by weather very similarly to Pano. Thus, it is very likely that when one closes, the other is soon to follow. When Eagle Wind goes down, simply ski down to the Pioneer Express along Lower Egress to get out. Eagle Wind terrain is glades, so for advanced tree skiers, head here. Finally, there's the Terrain Park territory. 
Not skiing parks myself, I will refrain from speaking about the terrain parks to avoid spreading misinformation. All the terrain park information one should need is marked on the map. I'm sorry if anyone was looking for any other information. Well, that's five territories in five minutes. I hope that this video was helpful, and please leave any questions or suggestions in the comments. All my love, have a great rest of your day.